Welcome back to another Bargain Savage video and today I have for you these Blue High Blue Pods. Now I tried out a few of the other brands like, uh, I guess not brands, they were different models and uh, ISOs was one of them and then the True Wireless was another one. Now these say True Wireless but they also say Blue Buds on them too and they're a little bit smaller than the original ones. So charging case included, pick these up Canadian Tire. The box opens up. They were $26.99. I bought them a while ago. I probably wouldn't have bought the ones I bought before. I don't like how the fake Apple AirPods have the little piece that comes down. These are more like the Galaxy Buds. So I uh, kind of like these a little bit better, a little bit slimmer, and should fit in my ear a little bit better, I hope. Now it says ergonomic ultra light fit buds. Uh, each earbud can be used independently charge light indicator and charge via type-c connector with cable included now it says that the charging case has a two and a half times charge inside the case and the earbuds will last for four hours of wireless runtime and there's a built-in mic and hands-free calling the back of the box has some specifications I'm not gonna go through too much of it but it does say that it'll work for 32 feet or 10 meters Rich, acoust rich acoustics and smart click button controls. All right, now I did see a warning on here somewhere. Where was it? Charging instructions, please, please use the standard USB adapter to recharge the true wireless case. Charge this device every three months to maintain battery health. And I'm gonna stress that a little bit because I've kind of had that with some other ones. Uh, the Blue Hive ones have been not too bad. The original wireless ones you can see here, and I've used these quite a bit. I find that the case on these ones drops down a little bit. I also have the ISOs here. These have been phenomenal for battery power. Uh, doesn't lose any. So let's get into this and see what we got here. Another thing I'd like to say is I was going through some of my analytics the other day and it shows here that 99.1 of you percent of you guys that are watching this are not subscribed. So come on, please help me change that and uh, click that subscribe button right now. So I'm going to say the case here is not, it's not as flat as the ISOs, but it is not as wide so uh, yeah we go very small USB A to USB type C it looks like there is four different size well two different size sets of ear caps and the instructions just gonna give these a brief over here and uh, see what they say okay one of the first thing it says here is remove the blue stickers from the earbuds prior to first time use so when I open this up here uh, you can see the buds are in the case there but they didn't turn on so I'm guessing pull that out there's a little sticker on the back side. Pull that off. Pull the other one off. Let's see if we can get that on the camera there. So it's just a little sticker to stop the earbuds from draining the case. Now, I don't know if there'll be any charge in these now. Okay, so when you open the case, they're going to start flashing fast. It says here exactly, pairing first use. Open the charging case and the red and blue indicator on both earbuds will start blinking to pair with each other in 10 seconds. 
Once paired, they will flash slowly and wait to pair with a mobile phone. So they are both blinking red and blue. And they're flashing slowly now. So I'm going to give these a shot and see if we can get these paired on my Samsung Note 5 as one device. And I have Blue Hive Blue Buds pairing connected for call and media audio. Okay. Now, it looks like they have stopped flashing, but I'm just going to guess here. They're, they both flash blue at the same time, and uh, looks like about every three seconds, five, five, three to five seconds. Let's see if I can get it on camera there for you. Okay, so these are a lot smaller. Uh, I'm going to give them a little test and then I will go on and we'll compare them to the other styles of the Blue Hive earbuds. Very light. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try and switch phones. I disconnected the Bluetooth off of the other phone. And I just want to see if there's any problems switching from one phone to another. I left the earbuds on. Showed up right away, bearing, and connected. Both earbuds are working. Everything seems to be good there. I'm gonna use my test track that I usually use, and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so my first impressions here are pretty good. Uh, right off the hop, I'm gonna say they are very, very similar sound signature to the ISOs. They possibly are maybe lacking a little bit of bass, about the same amount of volume but uh, they don't have touch controls. There's actually buttons on here. You can kind of see, there's a little line there. Now, when I was shoving them in my ears, I kind of pushed it a little bit. Now, as I'm sticking them back in the case here, nice magnets, pulls them right into place. And that was something that I really didn't like on the ISOs, that uh, when you put them in here, they flop around so bad. The uh, magnets in here really pull them in. Nice, see if I can get that on camera. I didn't even drop it all the way in there and it pulled it in. So that's nice. Uh, watching a video on YouTube with uh, lips moving and uh, vocals going at the same time. I had some problems. Uh, these ones had some pretty big latency in them. They're the original Blue Hive True Wireless earbuds. I'll throw a link up there right now for that one. And then the ISOs, they didn't have as bad. There was a little bit of latency there. A delay between the lips moving and the words that you were hearing. These, I do not see any latency at all. Uh, I'll throw a link up right now for the ISOs. Now, uh, if you're having troubles pairing the original Blue Hive True Wireless earbuds, I'll throw a link up there right now. If you pay attention in the comments, there is a pinned post and that has been helping a lot of people actually get them paired. Uh, not that many people have had too many problems with the uh, with the ISOs, but uh, there's a few, and uh, for the most part, that's been pretty good. I have some comments on the ISO video about how to connect them too. So, if you're interested in looking at that, 
And now these ones, they connected to two of my phones right off the hop. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of problems with that. Now controls, I didn't really like. Uh, there is separate volume controls on these ones here. There it was not any volume controls that I could find on the ISOs. But on the blue buds here, it has for controls left and right earbuds. If you click the area, so a single click will pick up the incoming call. Uh, press for one second to reject the incoming call. Single click to hang up. Single click to play. Single click to pause. And you can do that on the left or right. Now, this is specific to each bud. So now just the left one. If you double click, it will turn the volume up on the left earbud. On the left earbud, if you press for two seconds, it'll be the previous track and triple clicks to wake up voice assistant. And I did that a couple times trying to go fast through the volume where I was like, click, 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 click. And then I was like, click, 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 oops. And then it was picking up the voice assistant. So that is working as well. Now, if you switch to the other one, so the right earbud, if you double click, it will be volume down. And if you press for two seconds, it's the next track ahead. And if you triple click, it'll wake up the voice assistant as well. Now, on the left one, I did play with the volume. I got it down very low, clicking on this one. And then on the left one, I was clicking on it. And when it got to max volume, it said maximum volume. So I'll take a picture of this and I'll throw that up for you right now. In case you ever lose the uh, user manual, you can see what's going on there. And now, so earbuds power on, power off. Opening the charging case and the earbuds will be powered on. In power off state, press the MFB for three seconds to power on earbuds. Red and blue indicators will begin flashing for one second and beep will sound to indicate power on, power off. Put the earbuds back into the charging case and they will be powered off automatically. In power on state, Press the MFB for six seconds to power off the earbuds. Red indicator will be lighted for one second and a beep will sound to indicate power is off. Now we already went through pairing. Very simple, very easy. Hopefully it goes the same for you guys. And that is about it here. It's just got some normal warnings with only using five volt 2.1 amp to charge. And uh, there's a low battery indication. Uh, that was one thing that I didn't really see with this. Now, it doesn't really have a power consumption amount on here. It has just got one dot lit up, and I don't really like that. Now, on the ISOs, it, uh, open this up for a second and turn on. So now you can see there, there's four individual different LEDs and as it's draining down you will see three you'll see two you'll see one you'll see none and uh, same If I can get these to turn on There we go Also had four different LEDs and the power goes down and you will see the power go down on these things all the time very quick in my experience uh, This one not so much so yeah, I don't know why it only has one LED for an indicator. I'd like to know exactly if I have at least half. Like the four LEDs I think is perfect. Because then you know if you're a quarter, half, three quarters are full, that's a pretty good indication there. Now it will say it does say that the indicator will be solid white during charging and the indicator will be off till the earbuds are fully charged about 1.5 hours to fully charge the earbuds a fully charged case will support around three cycles of charging to the earbuds I mean like that's a lot of charging out of it but it would still be nice to know exactly so if it does three charges wouldn't it have been nice if they would have just put three LEDs on it so that you knew which charge cycle you were on that I would have changed that I'm gonna actually put down as a con and probably the only con that I can find out of these, so I'm fairly impressed with them. Uh, 
Use the true wireless earbuds only when temperatures are between minus 10 and plus 40. Hmm, that might be a little problem for me some days, uh, but for most of the rest of the year, it should be okay. Use them inside. I'm gonna bet that if they're under your toque, that uh, it'll be okay, even if it's minus 20, minus 30. But uh, there's a warning in here for that. And uh, keep it dry, away from humid condition, all this stuff. So now at the end here, I will throw up the whole manual at the end. So uh, you can have that for future reference. Okay, so I didn't compare the size of these. So here is the Blue Buds. Here is the original True Wireless earbuds. So you can see right there that there is quite the size difference. Might as well break out one of the ISOs as well. So now here's the ISO compared to the original True Wireless earbuds. And then here's the ISO compared to the Blue Bud. Now, the Blue Bud is a little bigger on the top end. I'm not gonna measure it with caliper, but I'm gonna say it's the, very close to the same size on the bottom, but it is, the Blue Bud is, very close to round and uh, these ISOs are definitely not close to round so a little difference there magnets on the ISO suck magnets that pull the original true wireless in are great and now I am liking the magnets on the blue buds as well and on top of that as I was just messing around with them there, they are marked left and right, even though it doesn't really matter which way they fit in your ears because there isn't much difference there, but that'll keep your channels all in the right spot for which way your music should be coming in and it'll be just like the artist wanted you to hear it. So that's always nice to have. Now, if you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe. I very much so do like the Blue High products. We re uh, be testing some more. I have some lined up that I haven't got to yet. Uh, a couple banks and uh, some charging pads and stuff like that. So uh, we'll go through that. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't be that 99.1%. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you the next time.